Hi, my name is Cheyenne Cole and I'm the My Choice Waiver Director with Senior Resources of West Michigan. Today I would like to talk with you about the My Choice Waiver Program. The My Choice Waiver Program was created in 1992. The intent of the program is to assist individuals in either transitioning out of a nursing home or to remain in the setting of their choice. The setting of their choice could either be their own home, an independent apartment, to live with a family member, or to live in an assisted living. The My Choice Waiver Program can provide a variety of services to assist an individual in meeting their goals. If an individual chooses to live in an assisted living setting, that individual would need to understand that the My Choice Waiver Program must contract with that assisted living, and the waiver program may only be able to reimburse for services above what is considered usual and customary. The usual and customary services are taken care of by the individual's monthly rent that they pay that is generally based on their income to that assisted living. Individuals must also qualify for Medicaid to be a part of the My Choice Waiver Program. Qualifying for Medicaid does not mean the straight Medicaid income limits that most individuals are aware of. The waiver part of the program comes into play because the state recognizes in order for individuals to age in place and in the setting of their choice, they must allow a higher income limit. That higher income limit is to allow you to maintain your home. Maintaining your home would consist of paying property taxes, roof repair, furnace repair, etc. Individuals who are married also may qualify for the program. There's a process that the local Department of Health and Human Services can assist with to ensure that assets are protected for the non-My Choice waiver spouse. Individuals must also qualify medically for the program. Some examples include requiring assistance with activities of daily living, short-term memory problems, daily oxygen therapy, and dialysis. Now I would like to provide an opportunity for a My Choice Waiver Supports Coordination Team consisting of a registered nurse and licensed social worker to share a participant's story and the impact the program has had on their life. Hi, my name is Carrie Forbear. I'm an RN Supports Coordinator with Senior Resources. I'm going to tell you a story today of a participant that we had the opportunity to work with. This participant was a veteran and very proud. When we entered the home, he was reluctant to even have services in the home. As we began to discuss his needs in the home, his main goal was to stay in his own home. So we started with a personal emergency device, which allowed him, if he had a fall, to call for assistance. He was very independent and not wanting help. We eventually were able to get some community living supports in the home where someone came twice a week to assist him with housekeeping, washing dishes, and meal preparation. As the participant declined in his home living situation, we increased services to assist him to stay there as that was his goal. We transitioned to hospice and they were able to keep him there until his end of life. The family and this participant were very, very happy with their services and that he was able to stay in his own home. Hello, my name is Taylor Royce and I am a social worker for the My Choice Waiver Program. And I would like to share with you a story of one of the participants that we went out to assess to transition to an independent living setting. My nurse partner and I arrived at the home to assess the participant and determined that she medically qualified for the My Choice Waiver Program due to needing some help with her activities of daily living and having some issues with her memory. We coordinated with the family to determine what services she would best benefit from upon transitioning to her independent setting. We determined that the participant would best benefit from having home delivered meals, nutritional supplements, a medication dispenser, and attending an adult daycare program. Currently, the participant is living independently 
with all of her services in place and is thriving. Every time we go out to see her, she talks about how she lives for going to the adult daycare program and it brings tears to her eyes about how much fun she has there and how awesome they are in supporting her and living independently. Those are only a few of the many client stories. If you or someone you know may wish to share their story with us, please contact Senior Resources at 231-733-3585.